welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey if you are new. If you are not new, I truly appreciate you coming back. So today we are doing my top five favorite sports bras. If you are new to my channel, I do a lot of active wear reviews and the last time that I did a top five was my top five shorts, I wanna say in June, I think June. Um, so now in the next top five series that I do, I'm doing sports bras. So this is going, I will say right off the bat, my chest size is small. Um, I am a 34B comfortably. So that will give you an idea of like what will work for you. Um, I know that I am not qualified to give bigger chested gals advice. So if you are bigger chested, um, I will link some bigger chested gals down below that you can check out that I really like. Um, and you can go see how like certain sports bras fit them and such. So I think today's format, because I'm still like getting over a cold, it's not COVID. Um, I'm going to just like run through them real quick and then I'm just going to do the try on and talk about them while I have them on. So if you enjoy active wear try ons, definitely give this video a thumbs up so I know to continue making these types of videos. And if you are not already subscribed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Not necessarily the colors, but I'm just going to say like the uh, brand and the exact sports bra and stuff like that. So first up, had to do it. It's the Whitney Simmons V4 Gymshark collection. I am obsessed with this bra. I am obsessed with the tops that come in this collection. It does a lot of good for the girls and it just has a lot of cute little detailing. It's very breathable. It's not too tight. It does not come with padding. I inserted my own padding and I love it with padding. Um, I will say the only thing that I am noticing but doesn't really bother me that much is that the seam is starting to come forward up here. But that doesn't bother me at all. I don't really care. And I love this sports bra. Really good support for me. Remember, small chest gal. So next up I have the Alphalete Pulse Balance Sports Bra. So I have this in black and this green color. It's really beautiful in this green color. Um, it has the monochrome embroidering right here on the front. And then it does have just like a standard racer back back um, and then it does have a little bit more of the square front love this and then next up we have this navigation bra so it does come with the padding so does this alpha elite one comes with the padding um it this is a little bit more long lined which i actually really like about that i'll explain as i try them on why i like each one the back is super cute detailing as well this is one of my favorite sports bras i would get this in every color if i could the Gymshark Bandeau Bra. That's it. Love that. <laughs> um, and then I do have this Buff Bunny and this like bossy red print, I think it's called. Um, and this is the Rosa Bra. So different selections, different backs, different types. Let's let's just start trying them on. Trying new spots for the try on haul, and I feel like this is a winner. Let me know what you think. First up, we do have the Whitney Simmons Gymshark V4 sports bra. I think these are pretty similar to the V3 as well, I want to say. Um, I didn't grab any in the third collection, but I did grab all of them in the fourth. So I have a little bit of knowledge. Um, I want to say in advance, like I said, still battling some kind of cold. Do you get out of breath really easily? So I'm sorry if this um, review is a little bit more breathy, a little bit more raspy. Um, it won't be forever. So this is one of my favorite sports bras because A, they're just so cute. Like I love the colors that they come in. B, the detailing on this is beautiful. So like we have this gold bar detailing right in front. You have this little twist tie front. And then you also have, I don't want to, like everybody's calling it mesh, but it's not really mesh. You can kind of see through it. You have this mesh in front. And then you also have the same mesh in the back that goes down here, but the band around the rib cage is not too tight at all. So it doesn't feel suffocating. I did say on the tops that the tops kind of like dug into me right here. I don't have that problem with the sports bras. They don't dig into me really anywhere. Um, smaller chested. So if you, so I just situated them and um, they look, 
nice it does things for the girls up top i have seen bigger chested gals wear this and they look really good in it too uh so i think this will kind of go across the board it's i wouldn't say like super super supportive but definitely supportive enough if you have a smaller chest um if you do have a larger chest might just be good for like low impact days but this is one of my favorite bras because i mean just look at it So this is the Alphalete Pulse Balance Bra. This, like I love a good square neck. I love the way that this front looks while also being extremely supportive. It does come with its own padding, so it looks a little bit more natural to have padding in there. I really don't care. I enjoy padding. It just makes my boobs look a little bit better. The band, again, is not sucking into me at all. I will say that this does go out a little bit further than the Whitney one, um, but I don't mind. I don't really notice it that crazy. From the front, it almost gives this illusion of like a halter neck, which I'm here for. I think it's adorable. And then in the back, it still has like that tank top effect where you're gonna get that full coverage. And then it just has that simple racer back. So a little bit like less coverage on the back than the Whitney one, but still a good amount up on the front. Um, this I would absolutely feel comfortable going in a run in. Um, I love this bra. Um, she's definitely supportive. I got a medium. And I think that this color also is just real, real nice. The chokehold that the bandeau bra has on me is insane. I am obsessed with this bra. Reason one, the fabric on this is just so soft on the outside. I love the minimal strapping, like straight detailing straight across. I think it's so cute. It does like, it doesn't do any huge favors up here. I mean, I can get it to do a little bit, but nothing crazy. But I like this because it feels supportive while not restricting and that's like the goldilocks combo and i love this i like i don't even know how to describe it's obviously thick all the way around all you have is the simple logo right here i have this in black white and this blue i want to get it in every color it's so so simple um i know that they have like cheaper alternatives on amazon i have not tried those so i cannot speak to those I can only speak to this and the quality here is great. I am obsessed with these bandeau bras for pretty much anything. I feel very supported. Um, I feel like I can do like upper body, lower body, anything in this. And I feel very covered, very secure. And I just, I love the way that this fits and I love the way that this looks. This is one of my favorite all across the board bras in general. <laughs> This bra feels more like a, a tank top to me. And I am just in love with this. This is the Navigation Sports Bra. It, like from the front, could totally just be a normal tank top, but it has the support of the sports bra. It does come with the padding. It has like the little minimal strapping down here. It goes into two in the back. And then look at this back. The straps on leg day or on back day. I love this so much. I think she's so cute. I think she's supportive. Love. We'll be getting her in more colors. This is the first time I've ever tried a navigation sports bra. This is like my first introduction and I, I love it. Right now I am in general just a little bit bigger than I would like to be. So it is kind of like falling down into my fat pack here, but if I pull it out, it does stay. 
and it hides it. But then if I do that, it goes right back out. So, but I love this so much. It definitely feels more coverage than the other sports bras because it does have that longer line, even though my back is more exposed. So, um, I'm not sure how the bigger chested ladies would like this because it's tight. I mean, that might be good. I don't know. I've never had a big chest, so I can't speak on that and I'm sorry. I am here for the IBTC. I am your captain. I can help you with that. I'm well aware of the words that just came out of my mouth not even a minute ago, but I feel like I can safely say for the bigger chested gals, this is a really good option. This is definitely full coverage. Um, it's a little bit higher neck. Sorry, straps got twisted. It is a little bit higher neck, so you definitely have more coverage and more support over here. It's just all around, I wanna say, a more coverage, a more high support sports bra. The band is thick at the bottom, as you can see, a lot thicker than the, well, not as thick as the navigation one, but a lot thicker than the other ones. So you do get that like double layer. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sure it is hard to do a try on haul and speak when you can barely speak. So appreciate you sticking in there with me. Um, this also kind of has the feel of more of a tank top just because it does have that longer band at the bottom here. It does have just the thicker straps in the front, unlike the navigation one, but then it does go strappy in the back. Not as like crazy and intricate as the navigation one, but definitely still some like detail and fun stuff in the back. I really, I this is the Buff Bunny Rosa Sports Bra. I should probably tell you what it is. Um, I'm. I love this one and I, I feel like I can safely say that bigger chested gals would like this one too. If you have it, please, and like you're a different, if you have one of these and you're a different body type, you have a different chest size, please leave a comment down below because I want like, I want this to be informative for everyone because I don't like when I'm watching somebody's videos and they have a completely different body type than mine. It just, if you have, something and you're a different body type leave it in the comments down below so we can actually get like some accurate sizing from like people and actually create like our own review section okay so as you can see I'm way too lazy to change out of this right now cuz I'm struggling to breathe so after looking up all of the prices and everything I have some feedback so the most expensive sports bra here is the alpha Lee one this one is $48 the Buff Bunny one is 46. The Whitney one is 40. The Bando one was of course the last one I looked at and I can't even remember, 34. And then the Navigation one was 24. I think that if you want a lot of coverage and support, I think that the Rosa Bra is a great go-to. It is a little bit pricier, but the fabric is really soft, it's supportive. I really thoroughly enjoy this if you do like that like higher neck more coverage feel. I do think that it is worth the money. The Alpha Elite one, the $48, I do think it is a little steep but again the $2 difference. Um, the reason that this one is in there is because I think that the, the, the front is just something so unique that I haven't seen in another sports bra. And I know that the Bando one is kind of similar but the way that it almost looks like a halter top in the front, I just, I, I really enjoy the way that this looks from the front. Um, and to me, that is a price that I'm willing to pay for, a, like I have two of these and I think I'm okay. I don't need any more of these, but I think that it is really nice to just have at least one of these. Um, if you like that cut. I like it because also the branding is very small in the front here, it's the monochrome, just, name of Alpha Elite right there. Overall, I do think that this is a, a wonderful, wonderful sports bra. If you are wanting something like this, if you like this cut, I think it's worth the money. Next up is the Whitney bra. So I, for $40, I do think that this is a really, really great 
sports bra option. If you are a person who never takes your shirt off, if you are a person who never walks around in a sports bra, don't buy this. Because this is, from the front, it, I mean, it clearly has the design to be worn almost by itself. Um, if you are wearing a t-shirt over this, I would say just get a cheaper sports bra option. Um, it's not worth the money for you. But if you like having like a little detail on your sports bra, if you like, I will say it is very breathable in the back, um, very supportive for me. I really, to me, it is the perfect sports bra. Um, and it just, it does something for the girls up top. So that is personal preference. Um, I do wear a sports bra around the house. Um, I'm starting to take off my shirt in the gym because I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable. So I, I like the detailing. I like that it's, can, it's like a standalone piece. It's, you could wear this with a plain pair of leggings and it looks more like an outfit if that makes sense. But if you are a type of person, like I said, doesn't care about the design, anything like that, just skip it, just, just skip it. This bandeau bra. So I was looking on the Gymshark website and it does say that it's low support. So, Take that into consideration. I personally felt very supported and covered covered in this sports bra. Again, I am a 34B, so take that into account if you are a larger chest size. I don't know how the sizing goes on this front. Like, if you go up in sizing, is this gonna get longer? I'm not 100% sure. Um, that would be something interesting for someone with a larger chest size to comment on. Um, I will say that this is the only sports bra here with adjustable straps. I forgot to mention that. So that is something really awesome. It is very affordable. This is just one of my go-tos. I am obsessed with this bra. I think it is worth every penny. I, they have co um, new colors all the time. They do tend to sell out. This is one of Gymshark's more popular um, sports bras and for good reason, for very good reason. And last but definitely not least, the Navigation Sports Bra. I was surprised by how cheap this actually was. Like I remember originally when I purchased this, I was like, dang, these are cheap. But then like going back and seeing it again, it's like, dang, these are cheap. Um, and I think that the quality for the price is amazing because this is just, it's so supportive in here. It has this like ribbed fabric down here and then it goes into this smooth seamless fabric up here. And I mean, it's not seamless because it has seams, but it's just, it's so, compressive it's so supportive and of course the back detailing is so cute for back day so i think that if you do want to try like a cuter sports bra than just like a straight bandeau type i think that you should check out navigation sports bras um i like that it does come with the cup pads so it looks just a little bit more defined on in that area and it just i think it just compresses really well and i like that it stretches a lot um, it did look more like a tank top on me than it does right now. So obviously it does stretch a good amount um, and I never really feel restricted. So, okay. So that is it for my top five sports bras right now. If you s want to see a top five of something else, please leave a comment down below on what I should do next because I'm always looking for new videos to upload. And I hope you guys are having a great day, week, night, whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in my next video.